palatial estates, grand homes of the rich and famous. Do you ever find yourself curious in how people who are renowned and wealthy live their lives? You'd think that having access to so many high-end amenities like sports cars, expensive clothes, and exotic vacation spots would make life seem pretty darn fantastic, right? And as if all of that weren't enough, the possibilities for their dwellings are practically endless. The sky is the limit. They haven't even come close to exploring every room in some of these homes because they are so large. We're talking about places like nightclubs, bowling alleys, indoor basketball courts, and private recording studios here. According to reports, Beyonce and Jay-Z even have their very own candy room. We've picked seven of our favorites that we've seen this week currently or previously. Owned by a celebrity that will either motivate you to do bigger and better things with your own property, or simply leave you with a bad case of house envy. To give you an idea of the grand scale these houses can reach. We've picked seven of our favorites that we've seen this week to give you an idea of the grand scale these houses can reach. Number 8 The Rural Property in Australia Owned by Nicole Kidman When Nicole Kidman invited Vogue magazine to film one of their 73 questions. Films at the country retreat she owns in New South Wales, property enthusiasts on the internet went a little bit crazy. You are able to view it on this page. You can catch a glimpse of the actress's stunning Georgian home in it which supposedly dates back to 1878 and features a grand piano, perfectly neutral colored decor, and a fancy outhouse. Number 7 The Rhode Island Mansion on the Water that Taylor Swift Owns Taylor Swift put her opulent Rhode Island mansion back on the market earlier this year for close to 15 million US dollars. The purchase of the home came shortly after the singer's breakup. With Connor Kennedy, who is, yep, John F. Kennedy's great-nephew. Swift may be best known for this move because it came after her divorce from Connor Kennedy. So, for a price tag like that, what exactly do you get? In addition to the breathtaking, unobstructed views of the ocean, this house features seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, and a magnificent New England design throughout. Number 6 The mansion that Malcolm Turnbull owns at Point Piper. Given the enormous size of his previous residence, it's possible that Malcolm Turnbull was one of the rare prime ministers who had to reduce the amount of his belongings in order to move into the lodge at Kirribilli. His home, which was constructed in the 1930s and has a Mediterranean architecture, and is situated on a beachfront property, has kept many of the extravagant elements it once had, such as its large wrought iron gates, arched windows, and Juliet balconies. In addition to that, it features a boat shed, a private jetty, and a swimming pool. And Turnbull is apparently continuing renovating the property. Number 5 The opulent home in Byron Bay that belongs to Chris Hemsworth. It is always good when an Australian superstar decides to live at home rather than in the Hollywood Hills. And that is exactly what mega actor Chris Hemsworth did toward the end of last year. Chris Hemsworth is one of the most successful actors in the world. His mansion, which is called Koooloa and is located on Seven Mile Beach Road near Broken Head, New South Wales, consists of a main house that is split into numerous levels and a number of detached villas. It is safe to say that Hemsworth and his family won't be rushing back to the United States anytime soon because their new home features not only a lap pool but also their very own lagoon. In addition to 8 bedrooms and 11 bathrooms. Number 4. The property in Illinois that Michael Jordan owns. Michael Jordan is having so much trouble selling his enormous estate in Illinois that he has resorted to making short videos showcasing the property in the hopes of finding a buyer for it. This may sound unbelievable, but it's true. Who knows why, this mansion has 9 bedrooms, 15 bathrooms, a huge entertainment space, a pool pavilion, a pudding green, and a full-sized basketball court. Celebrities. They're not that different from us. Number 3 The Bronte Rental Home Owned by Ricky Martin Even though he did not own the home, this does not imply that Ricky Martin compromised on his desire for a luxurious environment while selecting his rental property in Australia. The superstar slept in this Bronte estate while he was in Sydney to shoot The Voice. The home provided him and his twin sons with adequate space to enjoy the city's warm weather. It is likely that he was disappointed to learn that the house was sold at auction earlier this year. Because it featured a fitness center, two swimming pools, four enormous living areas, and wonderful views of the sea. Number 2 The home in Beverly Hills that belongs to Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg's two-acre Beverly Hills house, which has only recently been put up for sale is almost certainly going to be acquired by a buyer in the not too distant future. It is said that he had the idea for the successful television show Entourage. When he was living here, possibly the luxurious outdoor amenities served as a source of motivation for him. 
There is a swimming pool with a waterfall and slide in addition to a pudding green. A basketball court, a boxing ring, and a bathing area with a pudding green. A magnet for the wealthy, including corporate leaders, celebrities, and Hollywood and Chinese movie stars, sumptuous residences on Sydney Harbour. Have been home to all of these individuals at one point or another. Hugh Jackman, Russell Crowe, Nicole Kidman, and James Packer, to name a few are among the notable people who have owned magnificent harbour-facing residences. It's possible that visiting performers will make a pit stop in Sydney before heading to the Gold Coast to film. You get the idea, the list is infinite, celebrities such as Julia Roberts, Natalie Portman, the Hemsworth brothers, Sean Penn, Angelina Jolie, and Tom Cruise, have all made their temporary homes in harbourside mansions or penthouses for the duration of their stay. Even the legendary Sir Elton John, when prosperity provides the wherewithal to realize a long-held goal of owning a property. On Sydney Harbour, it must feel like a dream come true. When you take a cruise with Captain Cook on Sydney Harbour, you will not only be able to appreciate the splendor of the homes that have been given pride of place on the water's edge or high up on a rocky point, but you will also fall in love with the idyllic way of life that the inhabitants have created for themselves. Number 1 The home in Malibu, California, that Beyonce and Jay-Z share with their family. In 2023, the power couple Jay-Z and Beyonce purchased the most expensive mansion in California. The home, a masterpiece of architectural minimalism, was built with no money spared. The music moguls purchased the giant home, which spans over 30,000 square feet, and cost them $200 million, a bargain considering the mansion was once advertised for $295 million. The property looks out into the beach of Malibu. However, the real estate's remarkable size and great location high above Paradise Cove, with unrestricted ocean and coastal views, are not the only factors that contribute to the property's exorbitant price tag. The home's world-class architectural lineage is also a contributing factor. The wide hallways, floor-to-ceiling glass walls, and manicured lawns can be found in the concrete-clad property that was designed by the Japanese architect Tadao Ando, who won multiple awards for his work. When it came to outfitting and decorating, these million-dollar mansions had no boundaries whatsoever. The phrase mega mansions or a million-dollar house does not adequately describe the size of the world's largest residence, which has 240 bedrooms in addition to 535 other rooms. Some of the other most costly homes that have ever been sold are either enormous estates with stunning vistas or vertical palaces that were built to resist earthquakes. Both types of residences are known for their extreme cost. There are no limits to the luxurious mansions that the privileged may afford. So this is the end of our today's video, do you like it? Kindly give your valuable response in our comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and informative videos.